Hey guys, and today we're going to be uh, making malicious or semi-useful files, depending on how you look at it. Now, uh, we're going to be converting batch files to .exe. So, I'm going to show you an example of a... Uh, well, no, no, I'm not going to do anything, because we need a disclaimer. Uh, malicious files are wrong, do not use it for malicious purposes. This is to show how viruses can or, or are made. Do not use it for anything other than educational purposes. Do not infect your computer. Do not infect anyone or anything. Then again, these are only run on DOS-based operating systems. Unless you use Wine, but you can't do any of the startup stuff in Wine. But long story short, uh, we're going to do something useful now. A long time ago on the channel, I showed you a DDoS tool or DOS tool I made. So I converted that to an EXE. So we can go in ping our IP, and then we can attack it with data, which we're not going to do. Show you it's not a batch file, I can't edit it, I'll go to properties and show you it's an exe, application.exe. Unlike um, the original 3 DDoS, which isn't a batch file, and I can edit. So now to the more malicious -y side. Now this isn't malicious if I run it on my computer. It's just a uh, tool that allows you to get a CMD in a, no, you know how your school is locked down computers and you can't, uh, schools or businesses lock down computers and can't get in the command line to use useful features, like ping, maybe. I often use ping. And it gets into that. Now you can use bash to exe converter, but I'm not going to be showing you how to do this. Because if I uh, try to convert a batch file, which I'll show you. Uh, let's try to trade DDoS again. With add an icon file. Let's add the icon file I made. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, it's console. You click compile. And Norton's going to pop up saying it's a virus. Wait, did that actually work? Oh. It actually worked. Oh. Usually Norton calls it a virus. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be writing a batch file to do something useful or useless. So we're going to go text document. Blah. Doesn't really need to be created and named. So we're going to do at echo off. I can't zoom in for you. Mm. No, no, I cannot. So we're gonna go echo. This is a Now we can basically put like dos c c d slash windows bell this I'm not gonna put this due to the risk of running it on this computer. But how about we take one of my other batch files? Don't save. Development. What's arrow do? Oh, this was the execute air crack before I installed the system. This would start my Minecraft server source one. What do you do? This was the original DDoS. Putty. It's gonna back up. My DOS, EG, so 
So, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna show you a batch file because I can't write one off the top of my head. Let's go. Let's, I'll still go into Pad Plus Plus. Now this was just filler. Get that in there. So after you you pass here, once you do yes, then you have these characters, which I forget what they were. Lets you ping. Then it, it starts attacking by successfully pinging. Then we were able to convert this to a. Uh, exe by including the batch file, the icon file, and the save path. You can add additional information like copyright, company, description, and stuff. And this... Well, let's go here, actually. So this would be uh, where you would get it. Hopefully I'll put that link in the description. But you can use this to convert your batch files into uh, usable EXE files that most systems will recognize, like for your DDoS and the unlocker. But this can be used maliciously, and that's what I'm going to get into now. Once again, do not use this maliciously. You can, but you shouldn't. You do, not my fault. So what we're going to do is we're going to go downloads, I think. Oh, and let me see it. Lollipop and Kit Kat. And some other stuff. I'll get into flashing ROMs and rooting, stuff like that on the Android. So. I came in here to find Sonic Bat. Where is it? Let's see, Sonic Bat. Sonic Bat. Sonic Bat. No one's gonna get bad at, mad at this one. Now, this is just something fun to play around with, and you can do this, like shut down, and da, 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 da. flood folders, like desktop. You can name the folders and stuff. You can add it to run on startup. You can change passwords, name drive, set time and date, delete the C drive, fork bomb, which is a de denial of service. Where it eats up all your RAM, CPU, and every other hardware. Disable keyboard, disable mouse, add user. Yeah. Stop mouse buttons. Oh. Okay. Then you can do shutdown and shutdown messages. Root. What? Root? Sorry, but last I checked, this was DOS. So, no. Once you're done, you click build and uh, exports as a, a batch file, and you convert it with batch DXD converter from www.f2ko.de. What's that, like Denver? I don't know. Then once you have that, you can make your useful files, and you will not be making malicious files. So Sonic Bat makes that incredibly easy. Which is kind of scary, because like, anything like that's out there and makes the internet a lot less safer, like I can do. That's out there. Anyone can get it. That's out there. It doesn't work on my computer, but anyone else can get it. These programs I just wrote, or no, I've had written, or just written. I can get use those, and there's things like Wireshark, Interceptor. Android AI, no. But my point is, hackers are out there. They use this kind of stuff. They can hurt your computer. They can, well, in this day and age, uh, hackers can pretty much control your life. Rely on the internet. But, enough about that. So what we're going to do is, since I've shown pretty much everything, once again, whatever you do, do not use this maliciously. If you do... It is not my fault. I've given this warning several times, verbally, and I'll probably put a message in, which, Android, and 
mobile users, I should say. I'm forgetting about that iOS, that abomination. But don't use this. I'm going to put a warning in that the beginning of the video. Just, you don't want to use this maliciously. If you do, you get arrested, you get in trouble, you get fined, it's all you. Can't blame me. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.